being videotaped and recorded. Uh, I'd like to welcome our guests. I don't know if you uh, if you're here to, for any public comment. No. Hi, uh, I'm Wayne Fine, the Director of Planning and Sustainability for the City. Um, just a, a quick announcement here. We're working on a seven-year open space, recreation, and multi-use trail plan. Um, and each time we do this, we come before the Disabilities Commission at the end of the process and ask you to endorse the plan because there's some aspects that have to do with your work. Um, and so I just want you to all know that we're kicking off the process and in your deliberations in the next two months, if you have any comments about things that we should be aware of, we'd love to have them. Um, we've been working with you all and Chris and others in terms of doing an assessment of recreation areas and conservation areas. So we think we're, we're having good progress. But if there's any place you can think about in town where there's improvements we should be making in the next seven years, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. And, and just to add, it's been a pleasure working with you on the uh, ADA assessment. We My appreciate question. your support. The other thing, hopefully we'll be um, meeting with you soon um, and, and start going to the next level for the grant application. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Do we have any other public comment? Uh, I just wanted to know how the uh, thing was going that I, I don't have. Do, do you mean about Subway in Florence? Yes. Yeah, well, there isn't any real thing you can do about that. There um, isn't? No, because they haven't they have been there longer than the ADA has applied to them and they oh, haven't okay. done any significant work that would trigger them making an accessible entrance. Oh, so yeah. Well so, isn't, I'm sorry there, to tell you that. isn't there anything we could do about them getting rid of the ants people? Oh uh, well that's that's a health issue. That's yeah. You can call the um, the Board of Health and talk to Meredith O'Leary. She's very helpful. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would like, I would, Linda is not staying with us today. She has another, but she now has a, a work study student as the ADA coordinator that I'm going to let Linda do the introduction. Here. Well, anyway, we're very, very excited to welcome the Deandra. No, the Deandra. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and um, she is um, a junior. Yes, a junior at Smith College. And you know, it, this is a, one of the few steps, the first steps that we're taking in order to um, make this position, my position, a little bit more um, realistic. Um, because of the, especially we're getting to uh, a level of grants where um, Ruth is going to be helping us update our website, so we will have a professional, um, a professional commission in all levels, and um, and I really want to thank the members for supporting that that direction, that new direction, um, because in working hard to make it happen. Now regarding um, Deandra. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be working together, we'll be working closely with her, but so will Judy and, um, and Chris. And, and when there is that kind of lapse in her responsibilities, then um, she'll be working and doing something within the senior center to, you know, hopefully to expand her knowledge of, of that initiative too. So you'll get a little bit of two areas of, and, and maybe you could be interested in following that, pursuing those career path, but we're excited to have you on board. Sweet. One that will she also be working with me and other? Anyone who, it, her first responsibility, her first reason for being here right now is working with, within the Disability Commission. Um, there will be times that Chris and Judy and you and whoever needs her to do anything, um, will. there will be times there will be one or two hours that she needs to work 10 hours a week to get that work study. So think about how you can, you know, utilize um, 
Keandra in her, in her true capacity as a professional. Okay? I, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the focus on the issue is the completion of the self-evaluation and transition plan. It's the ADA specific. Um, the meeting with department heads, the, uh, the training processes, all of which will grow out of and be related to um, moving forward the ADA compliance structure for the city. So it's not individuals, it's the issue focus. Yeah. And then now also tomorrow. Is it department heads tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Are we still meeting with them or not? Um, no, I think that, no, not, no. We're, we've met with the board. I mean, we've met, met with the mayor and the mayor has asked, um, we've decided that there's going to be a, a one specific um, department head meeting that's going to be mandatory and we're going to be the only person on the, the only um, agenda. And that is on our agenda. Oh, okay. We'll talk about. So we'll go because I got it down on my calendar about tomorrow because you had mentioned that last time. Yeah. Well, we'll go into that in more detail. Okay. Um, Deanda, do you want to say anything about what your, your interests are and what you're studying? Oh, so I am an environmental science and policy major and I'm interested in food justice and social justice, so in the future I want to go into policy that deals with justice and equity surrounding the environment. So there's a link for her to, to understand uh, the ADA and the people that, you know, because so many people are uh, who are disabled are affected by issues she's interested in. To her to have some background too. So it is like, so welcome. It's very nice to have you. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? I just wanted to suggest since Linda is going to be leaving, um, is there anything else you want to say about the meeting with the mayor? Judy and I certainly can, can fill in. Um, you, well, you can fill in, but it was a very productive meeting, and he's he's on board with all of our um, the next steps that we are hoping to, you know, really professionalize this committee for. Yeah, I saw, I saw him, and he told me. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are, you know, the cheerleaders leaving now, guys. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Bye, Linda. Bye, bye. Bye. Have a good day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow then. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, Linda. Bye. Right, have you had a chance to review the minutes? Mm -hmm. Mayor, I'm in my own minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, right in the beginning, we're on the list of the names of all the attendees. I inadvertently slipped Council of the Barge down to, I fixed it already online, but down, further down than she should be. She should have been up next to Judy, so that needs to yeah. be changed. Yes. How about my name? Am, am I on there? Yes, you are on there. Everybody's on there. It just I don't needs know what to be ordered. Order. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay, I brought that up. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Anything else? No. I'm just concerned about him to tell me, too. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, motion to approve. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye, aye. Opposed? Mm. So the minutes will be approved as amended. And. Mm. Okay. We also had talked about, because sometimes we have uh, a number of, of guests whether we should uh, limit the, the time of the speakers so that uh, the whole meeting isn't taken up since it's a one hour meeting. I yeah. have great concerns about that. I know Ruth brought it up to my attention on that. Very seldom in any of the meetings that we have throughout the city. It's either three minutes. Planning board, sometimes you might see it go five minutes because it might be a situation going on that evening. City Council, three minutes. We've always done three minutes on this committee. It can drag on and drag on. And plus the fact that I also feel it, it is an issue that pertains to private par property versus private property. Say somebody's having a problem with a police officer or something in a building or whatever. 
that is not where we go. They have to deal with the police department on that, definitely. So, so the proposal here, Marianne, is to limit to three minutes for any particular yes. or so. Not unless Chris. Unless it's something perhaps that's been presented before time that may need more discussion. If somebody has a problem of a disability of speaking, I think we should look with that. Yeah. Gene. Yeah. If we run into a crisis, we can always suspend the rules and go another two minutes. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yes. yes. I like the idea for three minutes. Uh, Good. That wouldn't include like somebody came who's an agenda item. That would be a different well, situation. Well, if it's an agenda item, it would be a different situation. Right. This is yeah. for public comment. Yeah. If somebody right. comes for three minutes, has any problem with the agenda item for the next month? And that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So do we want to have this as a motion? Do we yes, propose that our operating uh, standard will be that uh, guest speakers are limited to three minutes each? for presentation um, unless an accommodation or other reason is presented for extending the time reasonably. I mean, I'll second that motion. Good job, ma'am. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. So moved. I mean, uh, so, so our next agenda item is a report on the meeting with the mayor regarding requests for our guests with disabilities. The, the two um, we, we guests that came with issues. One with the, the, our, the um, deaf man who needed the mirror and the second with the driveway access. And we also did talk about the restaurant. Um, Chris, do you want to talk yeah. about that? Uh, as Linda said, it was a really productive meeting with the mayor, and I think it was, wasn't just that we were able to work through simply more items than we thought, um, but he was prepared, he was ahead of the curve. Um, one, in terms of the overall process of developing the self-evaluation, we had talked about meeting with department heads, and he just wants to have a meeting where this is the only issue on the agenda that they will organize that will have at least a full hour. Training. Yes, an hour of training, but that's a, another agenda item. Yeah. This so is we'll discuss about. that later. Yeah. But um, we we described the uh, of the issue of the uh, um, deaf resident who had requested installation of the mayor to assist with. Um, <coughs> going from his driveway onto the, the busy street. And um, the mayor understood that idea of a reasonable modification to policies and procedures. It is not setting new policy, but as, as the ADA provides, it's a, it's a reasonable modification in that circumstance. And um, he's going to move forward with that. And it's the understandable contingency is that is if the house is going to be occupied. Because if it isn't going to be occupied by yeah, So that's positive. And he certainly understood the general provision of now this problem solving element within the ADA is that you're not setting a new policy, you're making a reasonable modification of the policy if the cost, administrative or financial, are not so, so burdensome. Uh, we mentioned the issue of the second driveway request and said that is somewhat more complicated because of the questions of whether state law applies, et cetera, that should be looked into. But if it falls within, um, again, the legal uh, dimensions of an allowable exception, we would say again that that it would be a circumstance in which a reasonable modification should be considered. That one, I think, will be taking some more investigation, and we'll have to follow up there to see. And I will be going to the planning board when the family calls me. And as a city councilor, I'll be representing the father who is disabled and talking about Brown Road and how dangerous it is there. Again, the son refuses to have the father and mother parking their car around there. So I will be there that night as a city councilor representing these residents 
of knowing how bad that situation would be if that car was put on that road. Is that on the agenda for one Not yet. Could, I it's going to be like. let us know because yeah, yeah right. because it's been brought to the Disability Commission, so if we can be uh, with help. Oh, we'll definitely. Yeah, but this idea of problem solving a reasonable modification is something we have to explain throughout the city administration. Yeah, right. That's where we need both department head, um, and that will have to be extended to the other to the other boards and the other bodies that that act on this. That when the law provides, um, if it is a reasonable uh, problem solving to eliminate the barrier related to disability. They were told. This is two sides of the story now. But they were not told that if they built that addition on in the back, that driveway could have replaced them of the entrance way coming into the mother and father's addition. So I'm, as a counselor, I don't get involved in that part. Do, do you, yeah, but, you know, I'm just curious. Is there a connection between the two interiorly? Yeah. Yes. And it does not work. My husband went over to look at the property also. So I'll be there and hopefully the planning board will understand about the safety of this and somebody with a disability. And they've been very good before when I've gone in with so, people with disability. Marianne, to clarify, um, are you saying that if they had been given some additional information at the design He's, stage, they could have solved the problem? He's saying that. I cannot answer that. Right. This was the same reason we said to the mayor, we do not have so much of the background in fact. Exactly. But, but if the facts support the idea that that this can be resolved without it creating an additional safety exactly. hazard. Exactly. And the law allows, there may be state law that applies, which is not within the province of the, of the not, system. You might have to look at the ordinance. Mm -hmm. I haven't specified somebody with a disability making that accommodation. Yes. I mean, that's my ordinance that was designed. And I don't know, I'll talk with one. Yeah, but if it's allowable, again, the idea of reasonable modification, you're not setting a new policy, you're doing each one on a case-by-case -case basis. So, well, you work through the more cumbersome process of considering a, a variation of the ordinance. Yeah. Good. I have well, a, we really hope this works out. I do too. I have a question. You know that? You know when that one um, person here when her uh, wheelchair got, remember when she got hit? Yep. Yes. Are we still working on that? Yes, we are. And remember, are we still going to, are we going to have the, you know, like where, not like with protocol, but like, where people get in chairs. Um, if you don't mind, can we wait and bring this up again at the end, at the yeah. end for new business so that we can get some yeah. agenda application? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, you should all have a copy of the letter that uh, Chris yes. wrote in support of the House of Corrections being. Right. The one thing I missed, this is to be addressed to right. the, uh, I believe the title is Director of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance. That's the state agency that builds, um, um, adds to, and, and does um, leasing and rental of state properties. And it, within DCAN is the, uh, the state's ADA compliance initiative. So I went on to their website and there, there's some changes being made. They did not list the name of the director. We'll get that director's name. Um, but had thought that uh, to make the points that supporting the efforts um, of the sheriff to secure these modifications that are needed uh, at the House of Corrections and then uh, having made that statement that it's a civil rights issue um, and that we as the Disability Commission of the City of Northampton take that within the, the scope of our responsibilities we're concerned about any violation of disability rights that occurs within the cities um, 
And then I thought the, um, the CC list at the bottom are, are the folks at least who should be informed that we're, we're doing it. But um, Mary Ann, I would ask you, I had thought the mayor and uh, the, the chair of the city council, mm -hmm. is that the appropriate way to do it? You're um, sending this to them? We yes, to it's copy the, the letter to them. It will be directed to the, all the, the director of right. when so you're all of the counselors. This would okay. When you're saying city councilor chair Bill Dwight, he will also forward it to every one of us sure. counselors. Sure. Yeah, and that's the way it should be done. All right. That's good. Yes. And to our district attorney, uh, David Sullivan. Yeah. And then the director of the Massachusetts Office on Disability, David uh, uh, D'Arcangelo. Chris, question. This is the first time that I knew you were going there. And I guess you're also on the outside about your visit. I cannot believe this. I mean, how old is that building? You know, I, I'm wondering what the construction dates are uh, on it. There were certainly some access codes that, that applied, but it may have been very early in the development of access codes before they were I'm going to call my brother-in-law tonight and ask him. He'll know right off the bat. Yeah. But my question is, doesn't like a agency come in periodically and check out situations well, where somebody is but, but this is where this is where the the state has a responsibility just like the city does right. any administrative unit big small whatever it's sub units of 50 or more employees are supposed to have carried out a self-evaluation and developed a transition plan right. i don't know when the first request went in but what we found when we did the tour with the sheriff is that there are probably five distinct broad program areas within the House of Corrections. There's pre-trial. Mm -hmm. There are sort of two linked units where violence is a major consideration. I've seen that. There's the, the, the general uh, population that uh, mm -hmm. are serving sentences. And then there are two steps towards release. And as we could see it, but here's where a whole assessment has to be made, none of those are fully usable and accessible. And in the worst circumstance, the situation that was reported, which was through the Mass Office on Disability, was a prisoner who was pre-trial, who had to be escorted to a different part of the jail to use toilet rooms. The sheriff said, no, it's much worse than that. There are places where the cells are so narrow that a prisoner would have to be carried through and they would train other prisoners to serve as personal care assistants. This is a blatant violation of civil rights law. Um, so it's directed to at capital asset management to say come in and do a study. The sheriff has ideas of some of the areas where he wants to make uh, um, corrections, but it really did, needs an analysis of the whole of the whole facility. Are there also um, prisoners in there who have wheelchairs? Well, that's not at this time. But if there is, then I have to be carried in and of themselves. But if if there is a prisoner with a wheel who uses a wheelchair, it can't get through the cell door. It has to be carried through the cell door, because the chair, it's too narrow a door to fit a wheelchair. That's yeah. true. We're also aware that the Commonwealth, under the ADA initiative, so full disclosure, this is the work that we do with capital asset management. It has been concentrating on higher education. Mm -hmm. The next priority is supposed to be correction. Criminal justice reform being high on hopefully the progressive agenda. Um, the Baker administration may not want to go there. We are saying under this letter, confirming what the sheriff has to yeah. say, is here is a clear civil rights violation. Um, this will also be reflected to the attorney general's office. I was just going to ask that. Of course. 
um, have, already, have already spoken with uh, the Attorney General's yes. office. And I, I didn't CC this one, but they actually have in hand a statement that this particular um, incident occurred at the House of Representatives. So do you think, I'm trying to follow the road here because this is upsetting, but do you I'm glad I'll see Patrick tomorrow night, Thursday night. My question is, because the state is not doing their job, that's what it sounds like. Absolutely. Going in to check out these facilities in the laws with people with disabilities. That is mistreatment. I think it's just a disgrace and it's a human. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's actionable civil rights violation. And so hopefully uh, the, the sheriff is the perfect person to work with because oh, he, he wants to get things, you know, um, addressed there at the House of Corrections. But it's really, it is a statewide issue. And also we have the general, the, the county houses of correction. Uh, but the other major that we have is Bridgewater State Hospital. Um, and that is under uh, active negotiation between the U.S. Attorney's Office uh, and the Commonwealth. There have been uh, five deaths that have been atrocious at Bridgewater State. And the Globe reported that they are moving towards what appears to be at least a uh, the first level of improvements at Bridgewater State. Question outside, which I've also done a tour of that up and back. Have you been out yes. there on the grounds? At, yes, at the jail. At yeah. the jail. No, we did. We were mostly internal. We were on a day of We But we went outdoors on this rainy day to that second building. That's very interesting. Yes, why? If somebody is there with a wheelchair, is there accommodations for that person also to be out in the recreation? Yeah. Well, it needs a comprehensive study. It's yeah. not just, you know, you can go to one area and say this is where a particular incident occurred, but uh, they need really to be develop a plan. To and go and to anybody plan. else, any other prisoner can go. To. Right. I agree. I have, I have a question. You know the the people that did the pro, the process to was the spirits. I think they should not get arrested for for that. Oh. Did you see Did you see that? Yeah. Um, you mean the the protest the, the for yeah. the Affordable Care Act? Yeah. Master? They should not get arrested it, for it that. It happened to be the person who was carried out Colleen Flanagan is someone <laughs> is someone we know. Right. Huh? Colleen Flanagan, the person who was on the news, was the, uh, uh, the person at the end of the DAP demonstration who was pulled out of the hearing from this. It's someone we're tremendously proud of. And, and as long as I just don't kick the bills dead now, they're not even going to bring up for a vote. That's right. Yeah. They're not bringing up for a vote, so it's dead. So that was the ice that's the last chance they can just do a simple majority vote on it. Well, but it's just have a momentary. You. Within the breakdown of democracy, there are at least some some moments when uh, some of the negativity is. Do you think we should get those people out of jail? Because they did nothing wrong, now. You mean that? But that's not in. Oh the yeah, but they, they they will yeah. be out of jail. Be out of jail. They, may, they were they were planning on how to. They they expected to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really saying, it's not good to put people in jail, though. That's like that, my dear friends packing and all of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have already, um, let's see. We've already, we've already introduced um, Deandra. So yeah. we'll move on to the next. And now this is, again, with, with our meeting with the mayor, um, we, you know, planning a meeting, a mandatory meeting of all department heads where, in which they would get the training on the A title to the ADA. Yeah, um, we're going to have a, at least an hour, or did we say an hour? An hour, an hour. An hour. We said an hour. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be an opportunity to really kind of plan how to 
present what will be the summary of the, the work that we'll be doing together to pull together um, what we have seen so far. But it's going to be very, very clear some of the, the key items that are going to be on our, our, on our agenda. Um, the incident that came up with the uh, deaf president pointed out the, the need for communications responsible uh, communications procedures. Um, we know that we don't have an adequate grievance procedure at this point. Um, that we're considering the long-term restructuring of the ADA coordinator's position and where it should be located. I think that the trick on this is going to be not to put in too much because it's got to be a level where they can, can absorb the key pieces and that they you know fit together. Um, well, this other is this problem-solving prov provision we've described, um, reasonable modifications to policies and procedures. But we could have you be the ADA court. Hmm? I said we could have you be the ADA court. Well, the person has to be an employee of the municipality. I know, but if they should And you can't afford my hourly. <laughs> <laughs> but, like the mayor has yeah. said to me with the meeting I had with him, I mean, if we decide to go in with another town or another city, you still have the two municipalities working together. That's we certainly do. the city does yeah. do that. Yes, a very useful idea yeah. to explore if we could find a partner on that. But we said if we we do that, the person in the, that coordinator position um, obviously has to be. You know, it has to be a professional level position. Right. It will have to have benefits associated with it. And, and it's amazing because when I was talking to the mayor about it, about the AGA coordinator in East Stanton, okay, she works for the planning department. She's very smart. Yeah, and, it, and, and that again, fits in. That fits in because of the planning of the city of East Stanton yeah. with disability and so forth like that, the engineering part of it. Makes sense. I think the more of these issues we, um, discuss directly with the mayor, he'll start to have a sense of how it might work best to be, um, to be structured. He agreed with me 100% about total communication and transparency with department heads. And that has to be done. You know, you can send me all the emails you want, a department head. When I ask to please notify my residents telephone number and all, and they don't hear anything, that is not a good policy. And he agrees with me, he wants to change that. Yeah. I agree too. So I think we're moving in the right direction. I we know we have the beginnings and we have to pull together all the elements of the self-evaluation, but also put them into a reasonably digestible form presented to the department heads, and that should open up what would be the first of a number of conversations, because okay. one of the points at the end of that meeting will be, how do we move forward to um, formally have these adopted as policies and procedures, and then to take them beyond the department head level to all of the uh, employees of the city who need to be exposed to them. <coughs> I'll have to let you know with the Commission on Disabilities, when we will be having at Bryan Road School on the new basketball court. Oh, yes. And my husband was so impressed. I mean, just the hoops itself. You press it and then you lower the right hand. Yeah, that's so if you have children, which we do there, who are disabled in wheelchairs, they can go. I said, so I'll let you know because they're going to have a big party. It's going to be like a block party. Ooh. And they're supplying all the food and everything. So yeah. I'll let oh, you know what the date is. Mary Bryce, can you let me know when the party is? Yes, I will. Judith will let me know. Yes. I have a, a quick question that I don't know if you can answer regarding the, the citizen who was deaf who wanted the mirror. Do you know whether or not he would have stayed in the house if this had been yes. handled? Yeah. The mayor very upset about it. So, so it's because it took so long. Yep, exactly. Not, yeah. Unacceptable. Yep. Never saw anything like this. That's true. 
So, we need to change our November meeting. It's too close to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Our meeting is scheduled for the 21st and Thanksgiving is the 23rd. Right, so can we bring it up the week before, possibly? Mm -hmm. The 14th. Are there December? No, not. Thank you. Yeah, that was the answer. That would be the 14th. Yeah, how's the book? 14th, okay for you in November? Oh. Yeah, I can do that. <coughs> Put it all here. 14th, I could do. Are we doing a new business next? I've been it's already invited to a party for December 30th. Yeah. <laughs> I want to think about the Yes, the, four, the 14th. I know. So, um, are we all in agreement to, the, to change the meeting to the 14th in November? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's two months away. So, is it time to plan? Yeah, Thank you. Why we're much. doing it in December, I mean, it would be the 19th. No, there's another one. Six days before Christmas. Are we doing a, cel are we doing a celebration? Well, that, that should be okay. We don't want to do it on the 12th. Six days before Christmas. Ah, six days before Christmas. That's right. Before. Are we going to do a celebration on the, on the I night? agree with Ruth. I mean, you're looking yeah. at the 23rd, 24th is on a Sunday, yeah. 25th. Yeah, but that's Christmas Day. Right. I'm talking about Christmas Eve and that. I think we, I mean, there's no big reason why we can't move it up. People have families coming in or whatever. I mean, you think the 19th is yes. too close to Christmas? I, yeah, I agree I do. with that. Ruth is absolutely correct about that. Because also, well, Hanukkah, doesn't that begin? Doesn't Hanukkah begin? Sure. What? Maybe okay. just be a little busier in the Christmas. Oh God, I'm busy Christmas Eve. Plus, we yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but we're this moving it up to Chris's yet. birthday if we do that. Okay, yeah. but you know what? We have a problem. I think it's Hanukkah on the 12th. That is true. Doesn't Hanukkah begin? 13th. Yeah. 13th. 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 Which is when? At it's sundown. Going. Hanukkah begins at sundown. The first full day is the 13th. <laughs> First day of Hanukkah is the 13th, so that would be sundown from the night before. Yep. Yeah. Sundown, that's it. Like, when's Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> the 12th. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a party. <laughs> <laughs> the 12th. Are we going to have a party on the 12th, though? <laughs> we'll have a party at our. Yeah. yeah. We'll have a party. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Are we going to do like a, a celebration? Because I know last year we did something. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can talk about that. We might yes. have a little. Yep. Yeah, bring in some goodies and right on Christmas birthday. Yes. What do you guys do the meetings every thirty days? It's it's usually the third Tuesday oh, okay. of the month. Because <coughs> so since you moved the November one back, so yeah. the um the, the, the December one moved back up, like to the to the twelfth. Okay. Yeah, it's moving back so, to the twelfth. Instead of December nineteenth, we'll bring it up to December twelfth. Okay. And the same with November. November instead of the 21st would go up to November 14th. Yeah. And you probably go home, don't you go home? Um, Christmas, I go over on the 21st, but I'm in finals during the 19th. So. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of my here. Do we need a motion to change those dates? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. All right, we are changing the dates in November and December. They, they have Thank you changed. for that. October will be the only one that remains the same. What? When is it in October? October will remain the same, the third Tuesday. Yeah. So what day is that? The night? And the holiday parade up in Florence is on the 25th. That's the 17th. Ooh, the 17th. Too many days flying around. I can't keep these. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> We've got parades coming through. <laughs> Turkey so, Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. New business? Um, let me take um, him. Yeah. Booth first. Okay, I had an article that I'll be putting up on the bulletin board. Um, it's about, it, it's quite over September 3rd. Um, it was about, it's about Labor Day and Jerry Lucis for 
American legacy, and most of the article talks about how he was not really uh, an advocate of the disabled. He treated them like you know. So that's a good article. Yeah. But there's a couple. Of, that's the that. writer of this article, Ron Chanellis. Um, <coughs> this was in the Republican. Put a couple of things in here that really hit me. He says um, these are changes in the way. Dis disabled people are, are treated. Does these changes irritate some people as examples of pointless political correctness, but there's a value to them. It's society's way of searching for the right way to interact with people who are not the same as most others, but who deserve respect as worthwhile members of a greater society, even as we look for ways to better their circumstances and lives. And a lot of this article is like that, so I wanted to I'm going to post it on the board. Thank you. Thank that's you. So, that's so true. That is so true. Uh, Leticia. Um, remember that remember that girl, the the one that had the when she got the real trigger that got hit by a car? Yes. Yes. Are we still gonna work on that? Yeah, we're still gonna work on that. She's usually at the meetings and she has applied to be on a commission. Mm -hmm. So um, I hope she gets in because that thing would be good for us to help her, and especially when I got hit by a car too. I hope we'll figure that out yes. as, as well too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's all part of our yeah. plan and to, to make the, the walkway safer in our city. Yeah. yeah. And that's among the areas where we want to get some photographs of the walkway conditions that forced her to go into. And are we gonna not have a protest, but like how like you know at people sit around the table and then people in the audience ask like we tell a story and then people in the audience ask us questions and so create an event. To yeah, yeah. Look who was gonna find out about the timelines about paying people in the commission. Right. What what was the last sits? I don't know where it sits. Linda's gone, so I guess I'm I believe that that is going to be pursued through council over time to to amend to increase the number of people on the commission. Right. But in the uh, in the meantime, we are likely to have an opening, you know, within the within the commission. So. Well, that's right, because as of the end of October, we won't be an official member anymore. The end of October? Yeah, October 20th, I moved to there. Yes. You're moving away. And as you move to, to where, you won't be a member of the commission any exactly. longer. Exactly. But we want to have you work out ways through your work done. with the center to continue to be involved. Yep, I filled out the paperwork about two and a half weeks ago. I'm now an employee of the city. Um, I'm, my official title is Senior Center Assistant for the Disability Commission. I'm still taking minutes, I'm still doing, you know, postings and making sure the bulletin boards up on that. You know, with the website, I get trained Thursday morning in the new city website, um, stuff like that. So I'll still be around, I just won't be able to vote anymore. Um, um, will you, I mean, since secretary is a, is a, a position that's voted on, will you right. be, still be able to be secretary? Or can you functionally take the notes so that the person who would, would separately have to be voted as secretary? Because that's, I think, under what position? Is it under ordinance or, or statute? It's under our bylaws. It's under our so bylaws. Under, bylaw. under the bylaw, so that the secretary then could have the support of your. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that's a, the solution. I yeah, because you, your notes are very thorough, and I hate to lose you. Sure. I don't want you to move. Well, I did. I did bylaws for years just as a volunteer before the, before I was an associate member and before I was a regular member because I worked for the city or a lodge beyond different committees at that time. Do you have to remember? We, so that, we need that's you now. But she, she'll still be with us. Yes. She'll be, she'll be driving over so all valuable, the way from Valuable from to the commission. Yes. And our elections are coming up next month? Is that yep, that's the, right. the election card? Yep. yep. And the yep. mayor, I was told, and with Linda, her hours will probably be like two to four hours that we'll be using for and good news, I have a resident um, who is 
Latino, and she is going to be coming here, working at the senior center, to be an interpreter and start bringing in people into the senior center. And we've been opening this door as of a year ago. Ty Keller and a bunch of us, and it's mm -hmm. going to happen. That's great. That's okay. Nice. Excellent. Do, do we want to think at all about who might want to be officers when our elections next? Can, can I do it? Well, you said Chris wanted to be chair. You know, I can't say that I want to be chair. <laughs> Someone has been telling me that we, her interest is that we have a chair who has a visible disability. So, right. as reluctant yes. as, as I am. <laughs> Yeah, I, you, would be willing. Willing. you would be willing, as I was reluctant and accepted. But I, I'm very willing to, to get have somebody nominate Chris to be I know, I know. I know. That's next. That's we'll next. We'll, we'll be doing that um, next mm -hmm. month. Do you think what? Can I be part of the like board party? Can I do what? With that or, or what? Can I do? We could do for new business. We could add that in today. Oh, we, we could. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't hear she was saying that we could add it on this new business and right. the election today, but um, we don't have all the members here. That's well, true. Yeah. 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 We have a quorum, but yeah. no, we didn't have a quorum last time. You weren't here. Yeah. Neither one of us were here. Right? We got voted in. <laughs> I, I, I think the only person that we're missing is Winston, and that's predictable there. Yeah. And plus little and Hannah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we could do it. I think I I think we should do it today. I do too. Let's do it. <coughs> Poor Chris. I know when it's coming. That's not on my water. Are you alright? Okay. Why don't we open up nomination? Okay. Alright. So. Well this one, this is for nomination for, for chair. Right? Yes. And a vice chair. Uh -huh. I'd like to nominate uh, Mr. Chris as our <laughs> new chair person. I nominate Chris because he and I'll second that. Because right. you're a great chair, Ruth and and and, sorry, and, and, and I think you do a good job, Chris. So we are higher. Okay. 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 <laughs> I like to move nominations to be closed. I second that. Amen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Cheers. Uh, I'd like to nominate uh, Mary Ann to be the vice chair. I nominate Mary Ann Burns because she's an excellent person. Second. Yeah, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Secretary? We don't Secretary? Have we have to leave that open. We can, but we, I, we can nominate. You know, we can yes, nominate that exactly. way because you still will be for another month. Yeah. Right. So we want you to continue to be secretary. I'll nominate Ruth to be our secretary for the And I'll second it. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Can, can, I be, can I do what Marion Boyers is doing? Because I want to do something. Can I, can I be the chair to what you do, though, Marion Boyers? Well, I, I, we think you're a valuable member of the commission, and we're happy to have you on No, but I can't do what Marion Boyers does. I don't think anybody can do it. Yeah. 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 You can work beside me. But you can work you can work together and she can make you train you. Alright, that'd be great. Okay. Alright, well then if we have any other new business. Nope. <laughs> nope. May I entertain um, a motion, motion to adjourn? Is that a second to motion? Second. Oh. So so adjourn. Right. <laughs>